of Brotherhood, Episode 1. Thank you. You're welcome. Someone got lucky. Lots of fruit. <laughs> I'm bringing them to work. They're for my colleagues. Is it your birthday? <laughs> no. Today's my last day of work. Oh, an important day. And today's my first. I'm a surgeon. <laughs> That's great. It is a good hospital. Let me help you. So what department are you in? Traumatology. All right, thank you. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> you too? Yes. <laughs> you know, I can't help but thinking... Maybe you shouldn't leave the hospital so soon. We could work together. Don't worry. I will definitely be back. And I will return not as a nurse, but as a doctor. I'm going to study in Moscow. That's great, congrats. So, where are these going? They're going... They're going to the staff room, please. Okay, they got here safe and sound. Where do I put them? On the table. All right, here. Thank you. You're welcome. Here you go. I said thank you. Thank you, Mr. Stranger, for the fruit. By the way, my name is Roman. I'm Sky. So pleased to meet you. Me too. Me too. <laughs> <sighs> you know what? Why don't you stop by here today around 3 p.m., okay? I'll have a farewell party. Yes, I'd be happy to. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! Oh, Cheers! Yeah. What do you old men speak like? Oh, we're gonna old miss man. You're not old, Doctor. Hmm. Well, honey, tell me one thing. Did your dream come true? Yes, it did. Although first I failed my exams two years in a row. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well. But now you know the distance between being the first in the village and the last in the whole city, right? And you have come all this way. My friends, let's drink to our colleague and her perseverance. Congratulations, my dear. And don't forget, you promised to come back. Mm. Oh, please, come on. Mm. I'm sure she'll find a better job in the city. I will be back. I will definitely be back. All right, I believe in you. But why don't you study at the local medical institute? I don't know. I've always dreamed of moving to the city and attending school. I get it. The big city is exciting. Hello. Excuse me, am I on time? Mm-hmm. Uh, come Hello. in, come in. Have a seat. We have drinks and food. I just stopped for a minute to congratulate you, but I'm busy. No. Why are you so shy, huh? Come in, come in. You need to come in. Yeah, help yourself and have a seat here. We will have some fun. Do you want some juice? What do you want? Okay, yeah, sure. give him some juice. And if you want, you can share a few words about our beautiful friend. Come on. We don't mind, right? Don't be shy. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. Sky, I'm very glad that I met you, mm -hmm. and I would like to toast to you. May all your dreams come true. Thank you so much. Cheers! Now, cheers! 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 Cheers. Cheers. Congrats. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Congrats. Excuse me, but today's my first day and I have many things to do. I just wanted to come and say congrats. So that's it? You're leaving? <sighs> well, yes, I'm sorry. Sorry, 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 Thank sorry. Thank you, bye. I want to drink a little more. <laughs> goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. 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 Nice to meet Take you. Care. To you. See, See you. you soon. Bye. I wish you success and happiness in all of your plans. <laughs> Cheers. To you. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to me. Let's drink. When are you leaving? Me? I leave tonight. I need to be in the city by tomorrow morning. Well, yeah. good luck to you. 
I thank you, thank you, thank you, thanks. <laughs> Congrats. You need to call me as soon as you arrive. Mom, relax a little. I'm not a child anymore. Do you have enough money? If you need anything, just tell me, and I will send it right away. Life's expensive there. I'll be all right, Mom. I'll get a part-time job at the hospital. Don't worry. Plus, I have my scholarship. <laughs> Please be careful. It's such a big city there. And you are so kind and too trusting, dear. Don't worry, please. Everything will be fine. I'm a little nervous, though. I've never been away from you for so long. I will definitely visit for the holidays. But, Misha, what's wrong? Misha, are you okay? Wrong? Don't worry, I'm all right. My heart just tingled for a second, but it's okay. <laughs> Daddy, stop running from the doctors. I beg you, this is not a joke. Promise me you'll set up an appointment. Mom, tell him. Did you hear what your daughter said? Did you, huh? It's about time, Misha. Okay, okay, okay. This conversation is over. Listen, Sky will become a doctor and she'll take care of me. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go. Goodbye. Go there. Darling, please just okay, be safe. Mom. Okay, okay. okay. And have fun. Yeah. <laughs> we all Daddy. Miss you Don't miss me, please. Goodbye. I am ready. Welcome. Oh, oh, the suitcase! The suitcase. Here, the suitcase. Oh, don't forget it. <laughs> Take it. Take it, my dear. Oh. Bye, honey. Hello, Mom? Yeah, I'm at a hostel. I'm looking for my room. Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. How are you? That's great. Okay, Mom, I'll call you later. Bye. Oh, hello. Are you my new roommate? Hello. You and I will live together, it seems. Nice to meet you. Why are you still there? <laughs> My name is Yana. What's yours? It's Sky. Excellent. Listen, I've taken the bed by the window. I like it there. You don't mind, do you? No, that's fine. Where are you from? I'm from Vladimirsk. And you? I'm from Podolsk. It's here in the suburbs. It's not that far. But why are you staying at a hostel? Living with your parents is much better. Have you lost your mind, girl? They're always trying to control me. I can't bring guys home. I can't go out late. Also, I'm tired of lying and sneaking around. It's easier living here. I'm free and there's no one to tell me what to do. Well, I think you could talk to them, tell them how you feel. They're your parents, they'll get it. If your parents are so understanding, then you're a lucky girl. All the men are okay sometimes, too. They pay for all my stuff. See? My parents don't have that option, even if they wanted to, so I'm going to get a job as a nurse. Listen, you should check the hospital next door. They have part-time jobs. They say the dean has a very, very special testing system. That's what they say. And in conclusion, I want to remind you once again that even if there is any good reason, being late for practical classes and lectures is strictly forbidden. I hope you won't violate this rule. And we will have a good relationship. And once again, I congratulate you. If you made it here, it means that each one of you have a very important reason to be here. And now let's see 
If everybody's here today. Richardson. Here. Williams. And that important here. reason is why a doctor makes Petrov. really good here. money. That's all. Yes, when a patient Petrov. is sick, they'll pill whatever you tell them to. Ivanov. Huh? Here. Pastor. Guys, here. maybe you should reconsider and find a different career, don't you think? Here. It's because of students and people like you. Irresponsible and indifferent. Here. That innocent people die, you should change professions. Shut up. Here. Sonzo. Here. Lapshina. Here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Mm, I was told you're looking to fill a part-time nurse position at this hospital. Um, yes, we are. And whom can I talk to about the position then? That would be Kalinina, the head nurse. But I wouldn't do it. Why not? <laughs> you don't want to talk to her, believe me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I see. Um, maybe you can tell me who else I could contact then? I really need a job. That will help me a lot, please. <sighs> Go straight to Mr. Peter, the professor. He's a good man. He'll help you. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Everyone cheer up. Hello. We're here. We're here. Hello, everyone. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Perfect. That's all. Thank you, guys. Help yourself, dear lady. Thank you so They're much. fresh. Just took them off the tree yesterday. Everyone, please. Yeah, have one. Have one. Everyone, take one. Take one. Please, take one. Thank take you. Take one. You're welcome, yeah. Take some for your kids, your grandkids, your husband. Oh, well, well, well. Look who's here, Ah, <laughs> oh, you friend. remember me. How are you, man? <laughs> That's great. Why did you bring so many tangerines again? Of course. <laughs> ah, hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. And I'll bring them every year. Well? You gave me a second life. And I'll never forget that, doctor. Ah, come with me and tell me how yeah. you've been. Huh? Yeah, I've been fine. Yeah? I've been fine. That was Peter, the professor. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and that's Mr. Angor. Peter performed a very complicated surgery on him a couple of years ago. And now, every year on the surgery's anniversary, Angor brings his own tangerines here. He brings enough for everybody. <laughs> that's so nice. Does he have many patients like that? Of course. They come from all over the country. There's a long waiting list because he's very good. Listen, go talk to him. Thank you for coming, my friend. Thank you so much. No. Go, no, go. Don't forget go to talk call to him. Me. Go. Thank yeah. you very much. Go. <laughs> Mr. Peter. Yeah? Hello, sir. Hello. I, I am looking for a job here. This is for you. <laughs> You're so kind. Okay, let's go to my office. We can talk there. Yeah, let's go. Come on, let's go. So, all of your documents seem to be okay. And you just graduated with excellent grades. What's next for you? Hmm? What's next? I've always wanted to become a doctor. And actually, I was just admitted to medical school. Yeah? And where is that? Pirigov School. That is a great school. I graduated from it only 30 years ago. All right, Sky. You seem like a valuable medical specialist. Even though you don't have enough experience, for our hospital it's all right and we can make it work. There's only one problem. What is it? You see, the fact is that our head nurse is a little that, well, she's competent and responsible as an employee, but as a person she doesn't have, so to speak, an easy disposition. She's very hard to get along with. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. I know how to get along with people. I'll find a way to win her over. On top of that, she really doesn't like to hire students. Mr. Peter, 
I really need to find a job. Honestly, you don't know how happy I was when I found out that a nurse was needed at the cardiac surgery department. Yes, but I'm sorry. Speaking? Yeah. How many days after surgery? Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. What medication is the patient taking? And the dosage? Okay, increase it to... 500. Mm, yeah, and bring me his blood work tomorrow. Okay, sure. Okay, bye. <sighs> I'm sorry. So... What should I do with you then, my dear? Hmm? You could give me a job. Oh, a job. Give you a job. Give you a job. You know what? I'll give you a job. I will hire you. Just don't complain afterwards. Here, take the documents and go to HR. Don't worry, I promise I won't let you down. I hope so. How many times do I have to repeat to all of you that the sleeping pill's dosage must be agreed upon with the attending physician? Do you want to go to court? You forget. We do cardiac surgery here. Hello? Do you have a minute? Dear colleagues, let me introduce you to... This is our new nurse. I'd like you to meet Sky Lapshina. Miss Sky, this is Ala Kalinina. No, your new boss and the head of nurse here. And the girls, you'll get to know each other. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, Mr. Peter. Why do you keep making personal decisions without consulting me? <sighs> Ala, we have already talked about this many times in Doctor, the... can I talk with you for a second? <sighs> yeah, well, uh, I need to get going. Uh, well, have a nice day. Thank All you so All the much. best. Goodbye, girls. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. I wonder what kind of employees our esteemed professor is hiring now. Excuse me? You're pretty and young. Why are you still here? Get to work. I have... Very strict rules for my department. If you can't follow them, then leave. Get them right the first time, because you won't get a second chance. No sleep is allowed for the night shift. You can only leave your desk for an emergency. Lateness is equal to being absent, even if you have a good reason for being late. I don't care. Don't take gifts from patients. Don't start relationships at work. And you need to cut your nails immediately. You need to follow the doctor's orders. Every word that he writes. Is that clear? Yes. Get a uniform and start working. Go now. Yes, thanks. Nurse, dear, I need a sedative, please, or I won't be able to sleep. Sure, wait here, sir. What is keeping you up, sir? It's the surgery, isn't it? Oh, sorry, I'm so scared. Don't worry about the surgery, please. I'm sure this will help you get the rest you need for it. It's normal. Who will do the surgery? Slepakov. Slepenkov. His name is Professor Slepenkov. Everything mm -hmm. will be fine. He'll do his best, I promise you. Mm. And I can help. 
I will visit you more often, you'd like that. Okay, go get some rest. Thank you very much, my dear. Don't worry, sir. Sky, are you deaf or what? Sky, wake up! Wake up! Your alarm is going off. Good morning. Yes, good morning. <sighs> I wanted to sleep in today. Your damn alarm clock woke me up. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm so tired, I didn't hear it. You shouldn't go out at night then. I didn't go out. I got a job at the hospital and I didn't sleep all night. Why didn't you sleep? There is no one there at night. Well... We can't sleep while we're on the night shift. And do you always follow the rules? I can't lose this job. I can't, so I need to follow the rules. Yeah, I see. I'm fortunate that way. My parents pay for everything. Oh, I'm late for school now. I gotta go. Listen, let's go out with the guys this weekend. How does that sound? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Thanks for thinking of me. I'll think about it. But I have so many things to do, so I really don't know. See you later. Bye. The bone is covered on the outside by the periosteum. And inside the bone there is a medullary cavity in which red and yellow bone marrow are located. This is very important. What is it? Excuse me, can I? Apparently for some students, penalties for being late will have to be introduced sooner than I thought. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. So, we can conclude that the strength of the bone is determined by the content of organic and inorganic compounds in it. Take notes, this is important. Hello, Alex. Oh. What are you doing? Why are you doing this alone? Sorry, Vadim just went out for a smoke. Oh, he went out for a smoke. Well, now you'll both go out for a smoke forever. You're idiots. Morons. Fools. Stupid. I am really sorry, but I just heard that Vadim left Alex alone. And Alex did nothing wrong. Why are you insulting him? It's not the right thing to do. You shouldn't talk to him like that in my opinion. Go find Vadik. Get him to help you. Thank you. For what? For saving me. No one has ever talked to Kalinina like that before. You have made an enemy today, Sky. The coronary artery supply blood to the heart. The coronary arteries supply blood to the heart. Blood supply to the Doroshin. Doroshin, Doroshin, what's wrong? Do you hear me? Doroshin!
Igor, hi. This is Kyla Pshina. Doroshin is unconscious. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Room five. Hello, nurse. Hello, nurse. Where is everybody? Where is everybody? The nurse go too. It seems they get paid to do nothing. Hello. What happened? Where am I? How are you feeling? I'm just glad that I survived. Well, Mr. Doroshin, you should thank this lady here. She saved your life last night. Tatiana, this is all wrong. It needs to be redone. All right Excuse away. Excuse me, are you in charge here? Yes, I am. How can I help you? Uh, listen, I couldn't sleep uh, at all last night. So I got up and went looking for the nurse so she would be something. And then what happened next? Nothing. The nurse was not there. I couldn't find her. She was probably sleeping somewhere and I couldn't sleep all night. That's unacceptable. Tatiana, who covered the night shift last night? Lapshina? Yes, yes. It was Lapshina. <sighs> oh, Lapshina. Good morning. I confess I expected this from you, but not so fast. As you know, dear, I won't tolerate negligence here, so write your letter of resignation. Do you agree? What? I don't understand. What are you talking about? You left your desk last night. Yes, I did, but I was with a patient. He had a crisis and we tried no, to... No, 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 no. This is over now. The person who was in charge is now gone. You can stop worrying now. Oh, thank you very much. It's good to know that we have some good nurses after all. <laughs> That witch fired her. She found a reason, huh? Don't worry, okay? Listen, I'll give you the phone number of the clinic where I used to work. The manager is a wonderful person. She will help you, I'm sure. All right. Thanks to you. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Doroshkin. The most important thing is that help was on time. You'll be fine, all right? Okay. I'll come and see you later, Mr. Doroshkin. <clears throat> Were you looking for me, Mr. Peter? <sighs> what? Did something happen? Ala, just tell me one thing, please. Where is Nurse Sky Lapshina? She doesn't work here anymore. She's irresponsible and negligent. Negligent, you said? But she just saved a man's life last night. She did what? She saved a man's life. Thank you, girls. Thank you. It was a pleasure working with you. I'm so glad I met you, and I hope I see you again. Now it's my time to go. See you really soon. Mm -hmm. I'll be fine.
You should have told me there was an emergency last night, so I didn't make a fool of myself. You still work here. <laughs> Hello, Mom. Yeah, everything's fine. Tomorrow is my first day off. I want to sleep in. Did you tell him he needs to go to the doctor now? Mom, take him to the doctor. Please do it. Listen, we have an excellent cardiologist here at the hospital. I could ask for an appointment. Just convince him and I will sort everything out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I'm all right. Everything's fine. Okay, I have to go. We'll talk later. Love you. Bye. Get up! Sky! Oh, what is happening? Get up! What do you mean, what? We're going out today. Oh... No, no. <laughs> I'm too tired to go out. We'll go next time. Oh, come on, Sky. You said you were coming. Plus, I already said that I wouldn't be alone, that I was coming with a friend. Come on, get ready. Don't let me down. All right. I'll do it just for you. Perfect. Thank you, friend. <laughs> Yana, who are they? It's okay, Sky. They're good guys. Come on, let's go. Let's go have some fun. Come on, I want you to make friends. You know what, Jana? Go have fun with these guys by yourself. I don't want to be friends with these future gurus of medicine who only care about making money at the expense of poor sick people. Also, it's raining and <laughs> I don't like rain. Mm. Mm. Well, I love rain. <laughs> <laughs> Sky. Sky. Hello. I've been calling you, but you didn't Hi, hear sorry. me. sorry. I was thinking... about? I don't know how to ask the doctor for an appointment for my dad. Come Excuse here. Excuse me, please. Sky. What do you mean? Just go ask him. Well, he's busy. What if he says no? He won't. Come on. He's right there. Go ask him now. No, he just finished the surgery. Doctor, so what? can I talk with you for a second? No, 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 I'm too shy. Your dad needs to stop being shy. Go ask. All right. Can you confirm this diagnosis for me? Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. Peter, um, hello, doctor. Ms. Lapshina. Yeah. I've been looking for you. I just wanted to thank you. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Kai. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to ask me something? Yes. Mr. Peter, I want to ask for your help. What is it? Mm, well, the thing is, my father has a heart condition. Oh. I was wondering if you could see him. Sure, of course. <laughs> I'd be happy to help. This is what we're gonna do. I have uh, some time next week. So bring him in. Is that possible? Yes, of course. I'll bring him in. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Mr. Peter, excuse me. This is important. Lapshina, it's time to change the drip for the patient in ward number eight. Yes, yes. I'll do that. Sorry. I'm sorry. Really, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Um. As you can see, the pelvic bone consists of three fused bones And those three bones form the acetabulum.
Miss, am I disturbing you? Am I bothering you? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I remember who are you now. <clears throat> You're the sleeping beauty. I need you to write an essay about today's lecture, right now. I repeat for those who overslept, as we now know, the pelvic bone consists of three fused bones. And those three bones form the acetabulum. Honey! Sweetheart! Honey. Hello! Mom! <laughs> Daddy! I'm sorry I didn't meet you there. I had no time to go. How was the trip? We are fine, honey. How are you? I'm fine. Dad, how's your heart? Everything is fine, still beating. How are you? I'm working and studying a lot. Everything's fine. Well done, dear. You are so <laughs> smart. How are you doing at school? Do you have new friends? How's everything going? Mom, there's no time for that, even now. I'm already late for school. Okay, tell them that you're here to see Professor Slupenkov at the lobby. And then go to the third floor, you'll find the cardiac surgery unit. Okay, we'll find him. See you later. I love you. Me too. See you. Here, take a closer look. Mm -hmm. Let me see your chest. That looks good. Lapshina, what's in this piece of paper? This is precisely the topic on which you decided to become Sleeping Beauty and now you're cheating. Professor, that's not mine. Someone dropped it on my yeah? desk. You're lying. Leave your test here and leave the classroom. But Professor, it's I not... told you to get out. And I advise you to start looking for a new school. Okay, hello. How did it go? I'm sure you got the highest grade, am I right? I did well on a test, Dad. <laughs> tell me, how are you doing? What did the professor tell you? What could he say? He said that I'm a really young guy. <laughs> Misha, come on, don't joke like that. He said that your dad needs surgery, and he'll do it personally. Oh, that's good. He is the best heart surgeon. When will he perform the surgery? He said he couldn't wait. But of course, he must first get a referral from his doctor at home. And there are some tests he needs to get done immediately and take medications. Mm. So I think in about a month. Uh huh, he gave us a lot of medicines. I'm pretty sure it will cost us our entire Misha, salary. come on, stop. Don't worry about that. The doctor told you to avoid stress. All right, come on. We need to get going. Otherwise, we will miss a train. Let's go. I will walk with you. I couldn't pick you up, so at least I'll see you up. I need to write an essay after. Excuse me, professor, student. Is here to see you. All right, let him in. Lapshina? Well, come on, have a seat. Today, during the test, you treated me in a way I didn't deserve. Well, you know what, young lady? I've been a teacher my whole life, and I have never encountered such shamelessness like yours. I am really disappointed. I will tell you what I have said so many times to many students. I'm not going to make concessions for those who don't want to study. But I want to study. I want to study hard. My dream is becoming a doctor. The thing is... that I... 
the fact that I fell asleep at the lecture and all the times that I've been late is of course my fault. But it's hard for me. I got a job as a nurse at a hospital and I didn't think it would be so difficult to combine with school. If I quit my job, I won't be able to afford life in the city. But the cheat sheet was not mine. Someone dropped it on my desk, I swear. Please, I'm being honest. Well, what do you want me to do with this case, young lady? All right, all right. Come retake the test, but keep in mind one more mistake and I won't even listen to you. Thank you, Professor. Goodbye. Hope to see you soon. Oh, Sky, I was just looking for you. Hello? Hello, sir. How have you been feeling? Oh, thank you. I'm going home today. Congratulations. I don't want to see you here again, okay? I'll try. I got this for you. Oh, thanks, but I can't accept it. You should celebrate at home with your family. If, of course, the professor allows it. I don't mind. Hello, Mr. Dorshin. Hello, professor. You know, yeah? what do you think about this? I've always dreamed of such a daughter-in-law, so I want to introduce her to my son. And as he's always choosing the wrong girls, I'd like to help him. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. But <laughs> you have to ask Kai. She might have a boyfriend already. We don't know that. Yes, thanks for the kind offer. <laughs> I'll think about it. I have to go. I've got a patient. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanted to ask you something about sugar. You know, don't abuse it. This is the most important rule. I'm sorry, but you need to keep an eye on... My sugar? Yeah, you need to reduce it. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Tona, my dear. Hi, it's so good to see you. What is it? Yeah, yeah come on. Really? Let's go get lunch. Let's go. I'll just finish with these files and we will go, all right? Okay, I'll wait there. All right. Okay. Yes, Mom? What? But when? Mom, stop crying. They will definitely help him in the hospital. Yeah, I'll try to come. I'll think of something, okay? All right, I'll call you. Kate, have you seen Kalinina around? No, I haven't. Oh, Allah, excuse me, I've been looking for you everywhere. Allah, I... You. Who gave you permission to leave? I just wanted to take some time off. My dad is sick in the hospital and I... You're completely crazy, aren't you? What are you talking about? You just started working. Go back to work or write your letter of resignation now. You hear me? Yes, sorry. Hello. hello. Good morning. Oh, hello. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Lapshina, I heard you were looking for me. Did something happen? Mm, yes, Mr. Peter. Yeah? What is it? Here. Bonds of Brotherhood. What's this? Episode 2. I'm leaving. 
Wait, what? But you... You're doing a great job, and I heard you're getting along with the team. What happened? Tell me. Well... I don't get along with everyone, as you know. You know very, very well who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I know. And what happened between the two of you, if I may ask? My dad was hospitalized after a seizure, and I asked Ala for a few days off to go see him, but she refused, so... I'm quitting this job, I'm sorry. All right, I understand. So, Sky, I will let you go. Don't worry, I will fix this. Just try to return as soon as possible. And also, I will try to speed up the date of your father's surgery. Mr. Peter, thank you, sir. Mm. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, you're welcome. Go do what you need to do. Go now. All right. Lady, please, I'm begging you. Do you have anything else for tomorrow? The thing is, I need to retake an important test at school. No? All right, I'll take that one. Good morning. Good morning. Is the professor at his office? Mm. He's busy. I won't be free anytime soon. Yeah. Please tell him that I won't be able to retake the test tomorrow. My name is Skylab Sheena from the N1 class. Yes, yes. Of course, of course, I'll tell him. My father was just taken to the hospital and I need to leave urgently. It's a family emergency. You see what I mean? I see. Don't worry, as I said. I'll tell him. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye. Dad, I think these are our seats. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Oh, hello. 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 Okay. Will you call me when you get there, dear? Of course, Mommy, I will. Good. Listen to your dad and be a good girl. I know, I'm so smart. Mm -hmm. And very modest, too. Just like you, Daddy. Sure. Come here. Give me a kiss, dear. Come. All right. I'll be the one waving out the window, okay? Mm -hmm. Say hello to your grandma for me. Oh, and about the ice cream. I know, I know. She only eats ice cream at home, and I won't give her any fruit after 6 p.m. And she goes to bed at night. She's my daughter, too. Okay. Have a nice trip, then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye, dear. May I see your tickets, please? Please, Elisa, hey, where's the candy, hey? I ate all the candy? Oh, you ate all the candy? <laughs> 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 now you will pay for it! <laughs> My dad is funny, isn't he? He is. And you're really funny, too. It's too bad we barely see each other, since Mom and Dad got divorced. Lisa, stop talking. <laughs> I won't stop talking. I'm just communicating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen you learn a new world. It's communicating, my dear. Say Communi it. Communi Communi <laughs> How adorable. Unique. You're unique. You're the best. <laughs> well, now, thanks to Lisa, you know everything about me. Come on, tell us something about you. Well, there's not much to say about me. I'm going to see my parents. That is in the hospital. And right now, I'm studying at the medical institute. And I've got a job as a nurse. I am surrounded by doctors. <laughs> My brother works at a hospital. He's a doctor too. Really?
My brother will come pick us up here. We can take you to the hospital, you know? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I wouldn't want to impose. <laughs> come on. Please, we'll take you. Say, say yes. yes, say yes, please. All right. Yay, yay! Oh, look, there's my brother. Roman! Roman, she needs to be taken to the hospital. Her dad is there right now. So what happened? He has a heart condition. Is it bad? Yes, it is. Damn. Picture this. We get to our seats and she's right there. It was fate, I guess. Dad, are you falling in love again? Shh. Don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Listen, would you like to go out tonight? Or can I have your number? Uh, of course. Uh, okay. Uh, uh -huh. I will find you. Goodbye. See ya. How am I going to find her? I'm so stupid I should have gotten her number. <laughs> so Alex, you're falling in love, huh? Is she single, though? I don't really know. Why are you so interested in her? Uh, I just met her at the hospital when she was leaving for school. Interesting. But you've got a girlfriend, don't you, brother? Mm, yeah, I do. But I'm not too happy about it. Listen, Lisa is so grown up now. I hadn't seen her in years. Yeah, I also don't see her often. Even though we live in the same city. You know what, Roman? Turn around right now. I already have too many regrets. Turn around, let's go. Come on, bro. Come on. Hmm. Hello, Soya. How are you? Thanks, yes. He's better now. My daughter is here as well. No, I can't. I'm at the hospital. Well, I asked you for three hours off. Mom, go to work now. Go. Okay, okay, I'm coming. See you soon. Yes, I'm leaving. Dear, I've told you, I don't want you sitting here day and night at the hospital. Go to work. Sky will stay with me. We need to catch up after all. All right. They can't do anything without me. Take care. Can I talk to you? Mm -hmm. I'll be back soon. I am so worried about him. The doctor says that there's no way he will survive another heart attack. Mom, don't worry. There won't be a second heart attack. The doctor said he'll operate mm -hmm. earlier. Yeah. We don't know the exact date yet, but I'm sure Dad needs to get better first. Oh, God bless him. I've been so exhausted these days. <sighs> Honey, I will come back here after work. You just got here. You need to rest. Mom, go home and rest. I'll stay with Dad. Okay, dear. We'll decide tonight. Oh, by the way, who drove you from the station to the hospital? Um, we met on the train the other day. It's my new friend Alex. His brother met him at the station and gave me a ride. Hi there. Hello. 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 I was just telling Mom all about you. Mom, this is Alex. Mm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Natalia. Hi, Natalia. I've been looking for your daughter. I want to take her out for a coffee tonight. Mm, no, I can't tonight. I need to be with my dad. 
Oh, come on. You can leave for a couple hours. Okay, great. I'll pick you up then, at seven o'clock. Okay. Who are you, and why are you touching my patient's rib? Doctor, don't worry, this is my daughter. She knows what she's doing. She's a nurse. Everything's fine. Yes, I worked at this hospital for two years before math school. Yeah, your face seems a little familiar to me. Okay, so Michael, we will continue with the procedures tomorrow morning. We'll do an echo, KG. Be ready at 8 a.m., please. Of course, doctor, I'll be ready. Good evening, doctor. Good evening, miss. Honey, why, why are you still here? Where is your boyfriend? What time is it? It's already six o'clock. Oh, sounds like I missed something. Whose boyfriend is that? It's just a guy that I met on the train. No big deal. Oh. Okay, mom, tell the nurse to put dad on a trip. I'll get going now. I'll see you at home. Please take care of him. <laughs> and you, I'll come and see you tomorrow morning. Yes, yes, that's good. Because I can't stay tomorrow morning. There will be an inspection at school. Come okay, on. all right, dad. Get some rest. Bye. So how are you? Oh, finally. Friends, thank you. Let's drink now. Roman, I'm sorry, you're driving so. <laughs> it's right. just used for you. I want us all to drink to a beautiful girl that I just met. Meeting her was definitely something amazing. I have traveled on train a hundred times maybe, and it's the only time I've met such a beauty. A miracle, a miracle. Cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers to all. Cheers, thank you. Cheers to you. Roman, would you like to make a toast to me? Hmm? I'd really like to, but some other time. Hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alex, tell me please, do you also write dissertations and stay home like your brother? Hmm? No, no, fortunately I do not write dissertations yet. But I'll be writing poetry soon. Mm. Very cool. Mm. That's great. Tell me, Larissa, how are things at the hospital? Is Sergei still operating? Petrovsky, yes, he operates, but not too often. Hmm. We have a rising star now, Dr. Roman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I propose a toast to him, since he won't make a toast to me. Okay? Okay. Cheers. Cheers to you. Oy. I'm sorry, honey, it was an accident. It's okay, don't worry. This is so awkward. It's okay. We'll go to the restroom to get it cleaned. Yes, it's okay. Thank you. Well, and tell me, how is life going? It's fine. Busy, of course. <laughs> is that all you can say? Mm. I don't know. I don't go out much. I go from work to school, from school to my place, and from my place to work. Mm -hmm. There's not much time to do anything else. I see. Of course, I completely understand that there. There is no time to see the city. But you could find a man to see it with. Don't you think? Or do you like... Alex, seriously, hmm? Just keep in mind... He doesn't have a penny. He gives his wife an allowance every month. So it just seems to me Listen, that- Listen, can we go back to the table? The guys must be waiting for us now. Okay, let's go. I think it will be yeah. right. It's fine, yeah. Let's go. Larissa seems a little she likes you, Roman. Yeah. She's beautiful. But we're very different. It's strange. Yes, I noticed it. You don't need to explain. We're back. Did you miss me? Guys, I need to get going, okay? But you... 
But you should stay and have fun. No, no. I'll go with you. She has to go, so we're leaving, brother. Guys, we can give you a ride. It's getting kind of late anyway. Yeah? Okay, great. Let's go. Thanks. Let's go. Okay, 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 okay. See you soon, guys, and thank you for a wonderful evening. Yeah, see you soon. So tell me, will I see you tomorrow? Let's hang out. We could meet somewhere, as long as it's near the hospital. Well, we'll meet in front of the hospital. Till tomorrow. See you tomorrow, then. Take care. Hello. Hello. How was dinner? It was fine. We went to a cafe. Roman, Alex's brother. Mm-hmm. He was with his girlfriend. You sound a little disappointed. I don't know, Mom. It just feels like Everything I do is wrong. When Dad is at the hospital, I feel bad that I'm not there. Sweetheart, have you lost your earring? <sighs> Probably. <sighs> it's okay, don't worry. Let's hope that's our only loss. No, Mom. Dad gave them to me as a gift. It's okay. Because Michael will recover. He will leave the hospital, and we will buy new earrings for you. Thank you very much, sir. Dad, are you out of your mind? You need to stay in bed. My daughter, what are you shouting at your father? I'm fine. I've been lying all day. <laughs> Doing nothing like a mattress, and she needed some help. You know what? Go to your room. Let younger and healthier people help her. You need to rest. Why don't you get it? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> This girl is very boring. I don't like her. She only talks about school, for God's sake. Seriously, I wonder what your brother sees in her. I see nothing but a really boring girl who has nothing to say. It's sad, actually. Look, what's wrong with her being a good student? The fact that she likes going to school or the fact that she doesn't go out as much? What's wrong, huh? Nothing's wrong. Everything is fine. Why do you protect her so much? She is good, she is beautiful, I can't stand it. <sighs> hey, hey, give Hi. me a lift to the hospital. Hey, hello. What do you want? Hi there. Hey, hello. I missed you. Roman, hello. Hey, hello. Listen, I lost my earring somewhere yesterday. It's not at the cafe. Maybe I left it in your car? I'll take a look. Of course I will. Roman, why are you standing there? Let's go. Leave them alone. I have to go. Okay, bye. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. And well, where are we going? 
Maybe we can take a walk in the park? Sure. Listen, the weather is nice. Do you want to go for a walk at the park? No, no. It will be dark in an hour. I don't want to be walking in the dark on my heels. Let's go to the club. Yeah, let's go to the club. Let's go to the club then. Let's go then. So when are you going back? I don't know yet. I want to make sure Dad is okay first. Well, when you do let me know, we can leave together. That is a deal. <laughs> you know, I'm afraid to leave. I am worried about my father. Everything will be fine. so quiet. Hmm? You don't like it here? No. Daddy Sam. Mm. I'm tired. I have to get up early tomorrow. Let's go home now. Let's go. To my place. <sighs> okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Let's go. Hello, hello. Hello, dear. What, are you looking for Michael? Yes. He's getting discharged today. He's at the lobby. What do you mean, discharged? Dad, what's going on? Why are you going home? Where is your doctor? Yeah, my daughter. Um, please don't worry. Don't yell at the doctor, please. This is what I decided, that's all. What S do you mean, decided? Sky, I really can't stay here anymore. While I'm taking someone else's place here, someone younger and smarter is taking my place at work, you get me? What am I gonna do then if... Dad, what are you saying? Do you remember what the doctor told you? That you couldn't work before the operation. Your job will still be there, always. Doctor, wait, please. Hello, doctor, good afternoon. Good afternoon, colleagues. Hello. So you have heard the news about your father? Yeah. As you know, we have no right to keep the man here against his will. So this morning, your dad wrote a statement in which he indicated that he takes full responsibility for his health from now on. So he's going home today. I do not recommend that. But did you try to persuade him somehow? He has not yet recovered. I tried to persuade him for two days, I tried everything, but it was useless. By the way, this is his file. I need you to keep it, please. I have written recommendations for a treatment there. It's good that the surgery is coming soon. The state of his coronary vessels, to put it mildly, is very bad. <sighs> Thank you. My pleasure, and please take care of him. He's a good man, your father. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah, you want to bring in the big guns right now, huh? Is that your mother? She won't convince me. I'll tell her the same thing I told you. Okay. Have it your way. There's no reasoning with you, Dad. <laughs> Listen, I want to say goodbye to my friends before leaving. Wait for me here. I promise I won't leave without my beloved daughter. Then wait here, please. Wait for me, okay? Love you.
Hello, can I come oh, in? Oh, hey, oh, who? Hi, who are you? Hey, who's here? Hey. How are you? You look good. Oh, look who's here. Hey, yeah. look at her. Hello, dear. Thank you, great thank scene. you. Tell me. Nice to see you. How thank is there? How is this cool? How's the city? How are you, darling? Are you happy? Wonderful. Although it is difficult to combine school and work, but... No, don't worry, you know. Recognizing it's hard is the first step to greatness. Medical school is never easy after all. Don't you agree with no, me? No, never. And what about your job? My job? Well, I got a job as a nurse at a hospital right next to school. Oh, that sounds very interesting. How is the hospital? They probably have great technology there. Not yeah. like here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, which unit do you work for? Cardiac surgery. Oh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. You're doing thank you, well. Thank you. Yeah. Well done. Oh, I can't believe you're here. I'm so glad to see you. You need to tell me everything. How are you? I just came for a quick visit. Not for long. <laughs> I miss you so much. Yeah, I miss everyone so much, but I have to go now. Mm -hmm. Oh, please come back oh. soon, sweetie. We wish you the come best. visit again. Soon. Yes, I will visit you again very soon. <laughs> it was a pleasure to see you. Go, go, show them what you've got. All the okay. best, Sky. See you. Bye. Goodbye. It was nice to see you. Okay. See Bye. you. Bye. Thanks, Sky. She looks so good. Such a nice Hello. girl. Hello. Are you leaving already? Well, yes. <sighs> Why so fast? That checked out today. Now it's time to go. Uh huh. Okay, I'll go now. Roman, please tell Alex that I'm leaving tonight, would you please? I'll tell him. He wanted to come with me. But don't say goodbye yet. I'll take you both to the station. Yeah? Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. Okay, bye, Larissa. Nice to see you. I need to get to surgery. Huh? Yeah. So... Okay, bro, thanks. See you. Goodbye. Yeah. And what about you? When will you come again? Very soon. All right, it's a promise. So, Sky, when you come again, come visit. We will miss you so much. Of course. Okay, let's go. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Hey, does your mom need a new son-in-law? Come have a drink with me. Come Please with stop. Me. Don't touch me. My God. Don't touch me. I'm telling you. Go. Hands off. Listen. Her mom doesn't need a new son in law, but I do need a new punching bag. You hear me? Move it. Stay there and don't come any close to my girlfriend, alright? Let's go. That was so scary. Train station. Oh, my Lisa, I missed you so much. My love, how was your trip, huh? Tell me everything. Excellent. Grandma asked me to say hi Thank to you. Thank you, my baby. This is Sky. We met on the train. You remember her? Yeah, I remember you. Nice to meet you, I'm Julia. Nice to meet you, I'm Sky. Well, let's go home, all right? Say goodbye to your dad. Bye, goodbye. Dad. Bye-bye, Sky. Bye, Lisa. <laughs> all right, let's go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Shall we get going? Let's go. So listen, why don't we meet tonight? I have a surprise prepared for you, and I think you'll like it. Okay. Um, how about 8 p.m.? We can meet at the hospital. Sounds perfect. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye-bye. See you. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that my roommate finally had a boyfriend. That's great. <laughs> Hello, Yana. Why are you here? 
I'm just visiting a friend. What a surprise. Okay, this is Jana, my roommate, and I'm this Alex. is a friend. Just a friend. Um, let's go, or we'll be late for school. Yes, of course. Well, see you later. See ya. See ya. Bye bye. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me, darling? Tell you what? You met a guy and didn't tell me about it. I met him in the train on the way home. How could I have told you if I just got back in town? You get You're it? You're hiding it from me. So how is he? Have you done it? <laughs> What's that? Mm. Oh, of course not. <laughs> I've only seen him a few times, that's it. Not much. So you don't like him then? No, it's not that. I like him. He is really nice. And kind. <laughs> yeah, and he's handsome. Does he have a twin brother? He has a brother, but not a twin. And he has a girlfriend. As they say, a girl is not a wall. You can move it if you want it. Hey, hello. Are you here for your documents? No, I'm here for the class. Oh, but you were expelled. You didn't know? Take a look at the list. Ooh, look, Sergey. The list of students has already been updated. <gasps> Do you think it was worth it spending so much effort on admission only to get kicked out after the first semester? Shut up, idiot. Go away. Sky, this must be a mistake, right? Oh. I know. Go talk to the Dean, and he'll fix this, okay? Go, 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 go! <laughs> Good afternoon. Can I talk to the Dean, please? Hello, he's not here. I'm sorry. When will he be back? I need to talk to him urgently. I don't know. What is this about? I left, and now I just found out that I've been expelled. <laughs> Your surname? Lapshina. Oh, Lapshina. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I remember. I'm preparing an order for your expulsion. It's not signed yet, but it's a matter of time. Should be ready soon. Why? It must be some kind of mistake. Young lady, there's no mistake. You didn't show up for your test. Our school doesn't work like that. And I think you were warned about this. No, wait. I came here and I asked you to tell him that I couldn't come and take the test. It was an emergency. My father was taken to the hospital. I told you all about it. I'm sorry, I don't have anything here. But what do you mean? You told me, you promised me. I told you, I told you it was an emergency. Don't you get it? Sweet lady, if you have told me, I would definitely have passed that information on to the Dean. I am sorry, but I don't have anything on my records. What are you saying? What should I do now then? Tell me. <laughs> what do I know? <sighs> Try to talk to him. He'll be back soon. I think in a couple of days. But that'll be the weekend. Let me get you an appointment for Monday. He'll be here on Monday, that's even better. Just try to talk to him. Although you know him. Andrew is very strict with our students. Very strict. <sighs> Only a miracle could save you. Excuse me, Roman. What is this? More precisely, whose is it? It's Sky's. She left it here. We'll return it. Listen, Sky. Don't worry. Everything's fine. You are doing a good job and everyone is happy with you. So there's no reason to worry. Have a good day. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Mm.
Hello. Hello. You waited long? Doesn't matter. I'm just glad you're here. I've been thinking about you all day. And I've been looking forward to see you all day. How was your day been? Horrible, to be honest. What is that? I'm about to be expelled from medical school. What for? For a stupid misunderstanding. I didn't show up to retake a test, but I told the secretary I had an emergency and she didn't tell anyone. Well, surely you can come up with something. I don't know. The dean secretary said that I had to wait a few days, you know. But I have no idea what I will do these days. I'm sorry about losing my only chance at school. I will do anything to help you get that out of your mind, get it? Hello? You can tell her yourself, she's next to me. Hello, Roman. That's great. I looked everywhere and I couldn't find it. I was so worried. <sighs> Thank you so much, really. Roman, could you take it to my parents' place? Excellent. And please write down her phone number and the address. All right. Write it down. Okay, I'm writing it down. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, I got it. Yes, of course. Listen, hang up the phone already, okay? Mm. I'm, I'm sorry. I can talk right now, okay? Mm. Bye. Uh-huh. Larissa. What is going on with you? You're asking me what's going on, really. Are you aware that we are on a date here, you and I? No, you don't care about that. What were you writing down, hmm? Listen, Sky just asked me to take her in to her parents. I wrote down the address. Why should her parents come pick up the earring? What's the problem? <sighs> Can't believe it. Okay, let's go now. I don't want to be late to the party. I won't go to the party. Wait, what? I'm tired. I want to stay home. I need to rest at least one night. So it turns out that when strangers ask you to go out, no problem. You say yes. But when I ask you, you don't want to go. Excellent. Very good, Roman. Very good. I'll leave you on your own tonight. Go home and get some rest. All right? I'll go alone. Bye-bye. We're here. This is my humble home. I hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> After you, <laughs> please have a seat. Today we have our first date in the city. And for the occasion, I have a beautiful gift for you. Yeah? What is it? Here it is. What's this? I want to give you all the beauty that this world has to offer. And this is only a small part of it. It's so beautiful. <sighs> Not as much as you. Thank you.
feeling? Do you need any painkillers? No, everything's fine. Sky, Mr. Peter was looking for you. What happened? Do you know? I don't know. Someone's in the office with him. Hmm. Dear, take the sweets that are on my bedside table, please. I can eat them. Thank you, sir. But you'd better keep the sweets for yourself. You will recover and drink tea. <laughs> mm. Dr. Peter, hello. You were looking Yeah, yeah, come in. Sorry, Vasya, give me two seconds. Lapshina, I don't understand. What are you doing here? Hello, Professor, how are you? Do you right, know each other? Yes, we know each other. She's my student. Ex-student. Why ex-student? <laughs> Why? Well, she sleeps during lectures, brings cheat sheets to tests, and didn't show up at all to retake a test. Didn't even say why we spell such people. I did tell your office, Professor. I urgently needed to leave. It was an emergency. My father was in the hospital. Those are lies. They didn't Vasya, tell me. Vasya, Vasya, Vasya. Wait a second. Wait a second. You know me very well. You know I don't tolerate irresponsibility, but I will vouch for this girl. Yeah? I know she's a very good nurse. She's attentive and responsible. In fact, just recently one of my patients had a hypertensive crisis during the night after bypass surgery, and she took care of him. She was right there, and she stayed up all night with him and did everything right. His pressure was measured, the doctor on duty was called. She did everything perfectly. Although, you know very well, huh? She could have just been sitting there. Can you imagine how lucky the patient was? Yeah, huh? yeah. I, I understand that Lapshin is a good nurse, but she's not a good student. I am a good student. I have always dreamed of becoming a doctor. Please, try to understand. It was an emergency. <sighs> I... I remember why I called you here. I got a free day next week, so I can perform your father's surgery on Thursday. Is that okay? What do you think? Of course. It's perfect. The sooner the better. Thank you, doctor. Well, as far as I understand, Peter here vouches for you. <clears throat> you are very lucky, Lapshina. Okay, I'll see you in school on Monday. And please take the day after we take the test at the dean's office. <laughs> Professor, thank you. Thank you very much. I will study more than anyone. I mean it. <laughs> oh, sorry, I need to go collect the thermometers. Excuse me, I'll go. Thanks a lot, for real. Thanks a lot. Well, thermometers are important. Yeah. They yeah. really are. No, no, no. My phone died. <laughs> Sky, what's gotten into you? What is it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just bursting with joy today. Imagine, it turns out that my boss is Lupenkov and our dean are really, really good friends. And uh -huh. Lupenkov put in a good word for me and the professor agreed to let me retake the test that I missed. And Lupenkov arranged everything and he will perform that surgery very soon. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> mm. I wonder why you get such special treatment from Slepenkov. <laughs> Come on, Yana. Slepenkov is like a father to me. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Mom, mom. <sighs> Hello, ambulance. Please hurry. Please hurry. My husband is not feeling well. <sighs> Listen, Yana, could you watch the phone for me? It's charging and Alex is waiting for me downstairs. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Hey, you. Hi. I feel like today is the best day of my life. The Penkov will operate on that soon, and the professor allowed me to retake the test. So you won't get expelled? No. <laughs> Let's celebrate then. Yes. Let's go. <laughs>
Oh my god, the phone's been ringing all night. Bonds of Brotherhood, Episode 3. Hello, what do you want? Yeah, she's here. Who is it? It's Roman. Hello? Go ask them. Yes, Jenna, hi. Jenna, listen. I'm leaving town right now. Dad passed away last night. Yes, I'm going home. If she asks, tell her there was only one spot left, okay? I couldn't care less. One spot? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Jenna, no. I can't bring you those books right now. Look, I can't talk right now. I'll call you, okay? Listen, I asked, but there is only one seat left. That's okay. I'll go by myself then. Yeah, I will book a plane ticket for tomorrow. Mm. Okay. Listen, can you help me with something? I promised Jana, my roommate, that I would give her my books. Can you give them to her? No problem. Perfect. Thank you. I'll text you her number. All right. Come on. We're departing. Okay, Bye. I'll call you. Hurry up, we need to close the door, sir. Roman, I thought you were getting ready waiting for me and you're still here writing your thesis, aren't you? You said we were going to a movie. Larissa, I forgot. Hmm? Last night was crazy for me. Glad to hear. At least one of us still has crazy nights. 
I'm being serious. I took the earrings to Sky's parents' place and... There was an ambulance at the entrance. It turns out Sky's father died. That's terrible. I was wondering where you were. Actually, you could have called, you know. Were you there all night? Wait, did you hear what I just said? Her mother was all alone in her apartment after the death of her husband. <sighs> Hello, Natalia, how are you? <clears throat> Hello, it's Roman. Listen, do you need anything? Of course, where's that? That's out of town, but of course I can take you. All right, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Where are you going? Wait, let me guess this one, wait. You will go help someone else's mother for no reason at all. Cool. And I'll be alone all night, right? Perfect, that's perfect. I was just wondering, just for the sake of curiosity, where are their relatives, hmm? Their friends? You're the only one? Larissa, what are you saying? They are no one to you. You don't even know them that well. And you don't know this Natalia either. Your movie is not going anywhere. We'll go other days. Roman, they are not your family. What do you owe to them? <sighs> hmm? Okay then, please explain to me. Hmm? Why Sky is not here helping her mother? She should be here with her. Hmm? Listen, Sky will be here to comfort her mother tomorrow. But her mother needs to go to the cemetery today and then to the funeral agency. And I'm going to drive her. <sighs> Larissa, don't you care about people who's in need of help? <sighs> I'll go. Are there other reasons? Oh, hi there. Hello, Alex. How are you? Sky asked me to give you this. Thank you. Um, Sky told me that her father died, is that right? Yeah, I'm going to the Dean's office right now to tell them about it. <laughs> no need. Everything's all right with her and the Dean. And why is that? Never mind, you're better off not knowing. <sighs> all right. Let's go sit down. Alex, you're a great guy, and you deserve to know the truth, you know? Um, the truth is, Sky's having an affair with a professor from the hospital, and the professor and the dean are good friends. There is no way that's true. Alex, just think about it. There were five people on that list, okay? Three were expelled immediately. So that's two left, right? One of them has connections, the other one is this guy. So the first guy, his connection saved him, that's normal. And the question is, who could have saved this guy? Isn't it obvious? I have no doubt that it was Professor Slepenkov. No. No, that's impossible. You just don't understand what you're dealing with, Alex. Those little town girls will do anything to stay here in the big city. And then, strangely, she was always talking about her kind and beloved professor. How great he was, how kind he was, such a good heart surgeon, the best, blah, 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 blah. I know men like him, and Sky seems to know them very well, too. So think, my dear Alex, think. Just look at the facts. Do you want to come over for tea? No, no. I need to go. Bye bye. You're welcome anytime, Alex. 
Spinning. Go call an ambulance. Now. My ambulance. Yeah, yeah you call them. Hurry. Everything will be fine. Hello. We need an ambulance. Excuse me, may I help you? Yeah, maybe you can. Where is that idiot sleeping cough? Where is he? What? What are you doing here? What do you want with him? It's personal. Oh, I need oh. to talk to him about Skylab Sheena. Where is he? He's not here. Oh, I see. No, wait, wait. Where Marina, are you going? It's all Where right. are you going? It's all right. Wait, young man. Go, Marina. Go. Do you happen to have some time to talk? Tell me, are... Are you related to Sky? I'm his friend. You? I'm her boss. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to talk. You know, it's inappropriate to say unpleasant things about your colleagues. And But as you may know, I'm really sorry for your friend. What do you mean? You see, what was your name? Alex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you see, Alex... You know, everyone in our unit loves Skye because, well, she's such a kind and loving person, and she's mm -hmm. bright, and, and that's why it hurts. It hurts to see such a nice girl flying into the abyss and not being able to help her at all. Wait, so you mean it's true? No, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> Don't jump to conclusions. <laughs> You're just a friend after all, I mean. And as a friend, you, you must support Skye. It's hard for a girl being alone in a big city. You know, you should know that Dr. Peter not only understands, but he, he can help her. I will kill him. No, 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 no. No, you don't need to kill anyone. You're a smart young man, aren't you? <laughs> I can tell that. I am sure you know how difficult it can be to maintain a long-term relationship. Peter has been married for a long time. So don't judge him so harshly. And well, Alex, I tell you this as a friend. <laughs> Take care of your friend. She's inexperienced, and it must seem to her that this is the only way to succeed here. But she's wrong, because, <laughs> well, because <laughs> this road, <laughs> because it will only lead her to a dead end. <laughs> Roman, wait. Roman, I'll go with you. 
No, you need to rest. I'll have time to rest later. delicious cocktail? Of course, right away. And I will pay for it. Yeah. Is that okay? Mmm, that's fine. <laughs> and what is your name? Badim. Badim. Hmm. Here Thank you, you And what's your name? My name is Larissa. Larissa? Yeah, Larissa. A pleasure. Would you like to dance with me, Larissa? Let's dance. Let's go. <laughs> Who is it? really difficult for you. <laughs> Wanna sit down? <laughs> sit down. You need to relax a little. And I can help with that. Mm, want a drink? Mm? I can't imagine what you heard. You were right, Yen. She has been lying to me this whole time. <clears throat> How do you feel about continuing this evening in a quieter atmosphere? I don't know. I'm not sure they'll have the same delicious cocktails there. Cocktails? Yeah. Of course. Really? I promise you. Okay. Let's go. My poor baby, let me help. My poor baby. Lie down. You just need to relax. And you will be fine. to drink now. No, 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 no. What? I feel... No, 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 no. I actually need to go home now. Go home? <laughs> but why? Come on, stay here. You wanted to relax? Um, we can relax here. I didn't go out to relax. Mm, then what? I wanted to make someone jealous. My boyfriend. But apparently, my plan didn't work. Yeah, I see. 
You've got to understand, I can't, yes, I get you know? It. How could I look him in the eye after this? Do you get it? How will it, it be? I understand, I get it. You don't understand anything. I'm so stupid. Why am I even doing Listen, this? Listen, don't cry. Everything will be fine, I'm sure. No, no, nothing will be fine. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't. He doesn't want to talk to me. He's avoiding me. You understand this? Listen, if you this? don't want to stay, it's fine. You should go now. No, no you don't understand. No, wait, no, Nobody don't needs me. You'll be fine. No Come one, on, no one needs me. Don't cry. No one cares about you. me. Come on. I'm here with you. Don't be like that. You don't care about me. I, I know. Don't care about you. Hello, Sky. How are you feeling today? I'm fine now. Listen, when can I go home, Doctor? In five days, no less. You have to rest. It has to be tomorrow, please, Doctor. My father died. The funeral's tomorrow. I know how you're feeling, believe me. I lost my father, too. But it's up to you. But you see, you can really stop life. In all this stress, could really harm your baby. What baby? Mm -hmm, the baby you're carrying. Hey, Kate. Oh, hello, Ala. Hi, dear. I hadn't seen you in a long time. How are you? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, thank you. And you? How are you? Fine, living and working. Tell me. Have you heard the news? No, what news? What? Everybody's talking about it, although it's an embarrassing story. What happened? Slepinkov. Slepinkov is having an affair with someone here. Slepinkov? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. The girl's boyfriend came to yell at him, and he was asking where the professor was. He wanted to punch him in the face. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. A disaster. A disaster a indeed. Well, those are surprising news. Okay, Ella, I need to go now. We'll see each other later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. How are you feeling? I'm fine. What did the doctor say? Why did you faint? Well, I fainted because I'm expecting a baby. Uh, congratulations. Mm, thank you so much. Uh, I need to go. I, I forgot. I brought you a phone. This is for you. That's great. Call Alex to tell him the news.
Good morning. <laughs> Where are you going? Um, I need to go home. Goodbye. This early? Mm -hmm. Can we sleep a little more? No. Thank you very much. I need to go home. Um, mm -hmm. Let me walk you then. No, 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 no. Don't worry. I'm fine. I, I need to go right now. Bye bye. Yeah, and make sure to prepare the OR. Peter! Yeah. Okay. Hello! I hey, need hello. to talk to you. Do you have a minute? Oh, sure. Listen, sorry. Okay. We'll talk later. Uh, Tell me, doctor. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Well, I'm glad to hear it, because, you know, when things are not going well, sometimes we can act against some professional code of ethics. Code of ethics? Wait, what are you talking about? Now, of course I understand that we are people, and as people, we have shortcomings. But to get involved with our junior medical staff is a bit much, to be honest. Do you understand now? No, not at all. Involved with junior medical staff? What are you talking about, Arcadi? Uh, all right. Never mind, I'll go. Excuse me. Arcadi. Arcadi. Oh, hello. I assume you already heard about my affair with a junior medical staff, right? Huh? Tonya. Mm. Tonya. My dear. You're going to be fine. I know it. Mommy. You can cry. And not for long. You hurt the baby. You need to be calm for the baby. Mommy, I'm sorry all this happened. My dear, it's all right. Everything will be fine. You know, it's a pity Michael's not alive to see all this. You know, he would be so happy with a grandson. We'll be fine. We'll be fine, sweetie. Don't cry. Don't oh, cry, oh, my Mom. dear. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine, sweetie. Tonya, dear, you know who did all this, right? Hmm? Peter, I never doubted you for a second. And I would never believe that kind of gossip. Mm, I love you. Yeah, let's go. You won't believe the dead I have. Let me tell you that. Hello? Hello. Hi, Natalia. How are you? I'm all right. After such great news, how can I be sad? I'm going to be a grandmother. Congratulations. Mm, thank you. Alex has disappeared, though. Scott can't get through to him. Did something happen? Uh, I don't know. I haven't spoken to him. I'll call him. If you talk to him, ask him to call Sky back, please, because she's worried about him. Yeah, I will. See you later. See you later. And yeah. uh, take care. <sighs> okay. Bits is here. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Hello. Hello, brother. 
What is it? Something happened? <laughs> Did something happen? Where have you been? Mom can't reach you and Sky doesn't know where you are. I came looking for you. Hello? Hello? Mid my bro. This is my brother, Roman. <laughs> and this is Jenna. You can tell Sky we're no longer together. Do you know she's pregnant? <clears throat> I'm happy for her. Tell her not to count on me as a dad, though she can find herself another fool. Apparently she lied to me. She was seeing other men at the same time, did you know? Has she dragged you into bed too, bro? <coughs> Idiot. Please stop! <coughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Dear, do you want some tea? No, I don't want anything. All right. Hey, hey, what is it? What's wrong? What's wrong? I don't know. I feel a little... I feel very dizzy. Mm. Are you sure you're not pregnant? I don't know. I hadn't thought about it. Well, you should think about it, okay? Come on, sit down over here. I can't breathe. I need air. Here, here. Sit down, sit down. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I've got a pregnancy test. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm Here. so dizzy. Go use the toilet. In a couple of minutes, we'll know mm, for sure. No, I don't want to. You have to. Come on, go, 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 no. God, this is just what I needed. Mm. Yes, Sky, hello. Yeah, it's all good. I'm on my way home. You're going home. Glad to hear. I found Alex, yes, I did. Can you imagine? The idiot lost his phone. And we were worried. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, about the baby. Sky, listen, hey, I can hear you very well. Uh, hello? Hello? about medical school, my dear. And about your job. You need to go back soon. Mom, how could I leave you alone here? What else could happen to me? The most important thing for me is that you are okay, my love. I will be fine by myself. You can't quit your studies now. Dad wouldn't have wanted that. You need to talk to Alex soon. And I... Don't worry about me, I'll be okay. Surprise! What's wrong, dear? Do not try to fool me again, okay? You know damn well what's wrong. No, I don't. Please explain. Explain? Okay, I'll explain. But I don't know where to start. Maybe with how you lied to me about how much you love me. Only to run to the hospital to be in your lover's arms after. 
and how your lover helped you out with your problems at school. You have any idea of how I felt when I found out that my beautiful and innocent girlfriend is a legend at the hostel and at the hospital? It was a great surprise. Now, did you seriously think I wouldn't find out about your affairs? About what affairs, Alex? Alex, dear. I love you so much. We are expecting a baby. Alex, do you even hear what I'm saying? You and I are going to have a baby. You and I will never have anything again. Take that child to your professor. He's the father. That will make him happy when he gets <laughs> Want some soup? No thanks. I can't eat anything. You should eat, since you're eating for two now. I'm sorry, I just... <sighs> what am I supposed to do now? The first abortion is dangerous. Are you crazy? An abortion? Roman will be very happy when he knows. When he finds out that you're pregnant, he will take you to the city hall to get married straight away. Isn't that what you wanted? It's just... It's not that easy. Hello. 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 Good afternoon. Oh, Rita, hi. Why won't you talk to me? Sorry, I've got no time to talk. Wait, no. Tell me what's going on. Listen, I really don't want to talk to you, Sky. I never thought you were capable of doing such things. Of doing what? I really don't understand anything. Please explain to me. Well, you either are a good actress or you really didn't do it. You don't know anything at all? Know what? Okay. Follow me. Roman! Roman! Wait a second, please. Yes? Listen... I need to talk to you today. Maybe after work? All right. All right then. See you. Hello, Natalia. Hi, this is Roman. I can get through Sky. Can I talk to her, please? She's in the city? So you think Kalinina did all of this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure of it. You see... She hates both you and Sleeping Cup equally. And then there's her chance to kill two birds with one stone. The only thing I don't understand is why. How could she hate me this much? It's a long story. It's not even about you, Sky. It's about sleeping cough. It's nothing to do with you. You see, they have a history. The fact is that they were together a long time ago. But sleeping cough chose her friend and they have been happily married for years. Now you understand? And now, everyone who Sleeping Cup likes immediately becomes Allah's enemy. 
Listen, I need to find a Slepenkov. I have to explain everything to him. He'll think I started Where this. are you going? He's not here. He's on holidays. I should probably... quit my job and go back home. Sky, no. What? What about school? You know, Rita... There's nothing keeping me here anymore. And I could always transfer to a different school. But your dreams... I don't know what's... the most important right now. Too many things have changed in my life. Kosakova, why are you standing in front of the mirror? Go back to work. What are you all doing here? Oh. Look who's back at the hospital. Our star girl, thank you. But if my memory serves me right, beautiful girl, you asked for five days off, and you took many more days, so you're fired now. So leave now, honey. No, wait. I believe I must ask permission from our esteemed Dr. Peter first. You know, Allah, I could forgive. For everything, for your rudeness. Your yelling, and even your hurtful jokes, too. Everyone here does it. Right, girls? But the story you made up about Peter and I... Th that is too much. You know that everyone here hates you, right? I never had anything with Slebenkov. Never happened. Those were all just stories. For me, there's one thing I don't understand. Why no one here believes that two people, a man and a woman, can have a normal... can have a normal, healthy and friendly relationship. My letter is on the desk. upper edge of the lever on the right, at maximum exhalation, sits at the level of the fourth intercoastal space as you can all see. Well, I think that's enough for today. See you tomorrow. Don't be late tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Bonds of Brotherhood, episode four. Hi, good morning, Professor. Hello, Sky. Well, I'm listening. I really don't know how to say this. I've decided to return home soon. I want to transfer to my local medical school. 
There's no way. Don't even think about it. I won't let you go anywhere. I'm sorry, Professor. I just can't stay here anymore. Too many... things... have happened. I need to go. Yes, I know. I know everything. Someone made up stories about you. Well, you don't just run away from problems, you face them. Think. Please reconsider, Sky. After all, gossip is just temporary. I am sorry. I've made my decision. Roman! Hey there. Hello. Hi, dear. Hello, dear. Mm. Hello. I wanted to apologize to you. For while, you know, for being so hysterical, for yelling. Ah, uh, come on. No, seriously, I was acting stupid. But as it turns out, the reason was the hormones. What hormones? Yes, we're having a baby. It's great, isn't it? I already spoke to a friend of mine. She works at City Hall. They can do a whole thing for us without waiting a line. There won't be any problems. Uh, it will be really easy. We can live at my place, actually. Why don't we get married right away? Things are going so well between us, we don't need to wait. You don't need to act like your brother, right? Hmm? Uh, no way. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's what I thought. Uh. back? Yes, but I'm leaving soon. Why? Did something happen? No, everything's fine. I'm pregnant. Alex has left me. My dad died. They talk about me at work. Is that enough reason? What? The baby's Alex's? Of course it's Alex's. There's no doubt. <sighs> I don't want to talk to you or anyone in your family, ever. Does Alex want you back? No, it was his brother, but I don't want to talk to him either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah? Can I? Ta-da! You like it? Lord, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. Me too, me too. I'm so happy. Did you buy the rings? Are they nice? Tell me more. Yeah, of course. And Very nice. And the restaurant? Roman, have you booked the restaurant? Very good. I'll try on the shoes too. Yeah, yeah, try them I'll on. I'll be back in a second. Wait here. She's a beauty, right? Roman, I'm so happy for you, son. I'm so happy. Oh. I... Can't believe, son. I will have a grandkid soon. <laughs> Mom, not one, but two. Uh, what do you mean? Roman. Are you having twins? <sighs> Alex, too? Yes. Roman? Why didn't you tell me? How far along is she? Why... why hasn't he told me? Uh. Well, that's great. I need to call him right now. Hello? Yes, son. Hi, Alex. Mm -hmm. How are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand. Uh, tell me, Alex, is it true? That you and Sky are... Alex? Uh, hello? He hung up on me. Roman? Roman, what's going on? Tell me, what's happening? He told me that the child is not his? Why would he think it's not his? Tell me. 
Roman, look me in the eye. He has a good reason, right? I know that girl is telling the truth. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Careful, careful. I got it. There you go. There you go. Okay, I'll see you later, okay? Take care. Be safe. I'll see you later. I love you. Unbelievable. I moved to the city to go to school, and they come back home pregnant. Can you believe it? Hello. 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 Poor Natalia. Poor thing. How can she look people in the eye with a daughter like that, huh? It happens. This baby is perfectly fine. You can dress him up. Anything else? How is he? No, no. We are fine, I think. Mm. Well, okay. Take this test with you and come back for vaccination in a week, please. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. <laughs> Thank you for everything, doctor. See you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Next patient? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. So? Hello. Hello. It's been too long. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Hi, baby. His name is Nikki. Hi, Nikki. And I'm your uncle, Roman. You disappeared all of a sudden. We didn't even get a chance to talk. Yes, I know. I just needed some time to think. I am really sorry. I was angry at Alex and you paid for it. Oh, it's fine. Uh, how has your mother been? My mom? She's fine, working. That's good. Would you like to go for... What a coincidence, huh? It's been a long time. That's true. And what about Alex? He didn't come with you? Okay, we'll go. Take care, Sky. I see. We need to go. Let's go. Bye. 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 <laughs> Are you crazy? Do you want to kill your daughter? I'm sorry. I got distracted. <laughs> um, Roman, I'm going to the spa and salon. Here's a formula. Feed her in half an hour, okay? Mm hmm. You won't forget? Mm-hmm. Uh, when will you be back? Well, in about two or three hours, I think. See you. Oi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I was just leaving. I left everything ready for Roman, so he can feed the baby. Good, good. Yeah, don't mm -hmm. worry. Bye-bye. See you later. Mm-hmm. Mother. My dear. My dear mom. Hi. How Hello, are son. you? Hello, son. It's so good to see you. Hey, come say hi to your grandchild. <laughs> Oh, you're so beautiful. How are you, my love? Oh, she's perfect. Did you take her to the clinic already? Of course. What did the doctor say? 
that she's healthy and growing. Oh, you're growing. <laughs> we ran into Sky there. And her son. Did she speak to you? Yes. How's the baby? He's perfect too. He has beautiful eyes. I'd like to at least meet him. But Sky probably won't let us see him, right? Why do you think she won't? Roman, you need to talk to her. Explain everything, all right? My grandson is growing and I've never even met him. I would love to meet Sky and my grandkid and her mother too. I'll try to convince her. <laughs> Roman. Mom, who's there? It's Roman. Hello. Come, come. Just come in. Come in. Natalia, forgive me for showing up uninvited. It's, it's just okay. That, it's uh, okay. Come in. Come in, please. I. Uh, we haven't seen you for a long time. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello. I bought some stuff for the baby. Uh, diapers and some bottles and other things. I know he needs them. You don't need to do this, Roman. Uh, um, Want to join us for breakfast? No, I can't. I have to go to work, I'm afraid. Natalia, please accept the help my family is offering you. We would like to be able to be in touch with you. Take it. Come on, please take it. Thank you so much. Mom would like to be able to see her grandson. She can come see him anytime. And also, you can come whenever to. I think I made a mistake by avoiding you. <laughs> and I forgave Alex a long time ago. In my way, at least. But I forgave him. I promise I did. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, we'll go. It's okay, yes, my dear. He's adorable. Okay, um, I need to get going. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sweet little girl. Hello. Hello. I thought we would be alone. Lisa, I have told you a hundred times, Yana is my girlfriend, and we spend a lot of time together. Mm -hmm. Doesn't she get enough time with you? Lisa, mm -hmm. Yana wants to be your friend. Let's walk together, all right? I don't like her at all, Dad. But I like her. Don't come to see me with her! Lisa! 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 What time are you coming home tonight? Actually, we are going to see Sky tonight. Can you have the baby ready by six? We'll introduce you to your brother. Hey. Did anyone ask if I was okay with that? Mm? Well, I'm not. And by the way, why are you going to see her? Mm. To introduce the babies? That's nonsense. Admit you want to go see her. Mm? Do you think I don't see the way you look at her? <sighs> go leave and don't bother coming back. Thank you. 
Hello, how are you? Please, let me introduce you to my mother. Mm. Nadia, this is... Um, I'm Sky. Sky, pleased to meet you. Me too. <coughs> Nadia, please, come see the baby. Let Thank me you. Take this. Please. Uh, hello. Nikki, I want you to meet someone. Your grandmother. He's so big and also so serious. My dear grandson, can I? Mm. Shh. Shh. Sky, uh, where are you studying? Yes, I am an academic leaf for now, but I want to repeat the first year of the program. Uh huh. I can ask if they can give you your job back at the hospital. Mm. I've thought about it, but I can't work right now. The nanny will cost me more than I would make. <laughs> Excuse me, Sky, but why do you need a nanny? You have me? I could help out and stay with Nikki. Of course, only when you need it. Good morning. Good morning. Sky, sorry, I've been looking for you. Well, I've been here working. Very good. Do you want me to drive you home tonight? Well, all right. We've got a deal. It's a deal. See you. Wait, I forgot. <clears throat> Alex? Mm? Look what my parents gave me. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> I've been craving these since last week, you know. I heard you said only craving salty food. You sure you're not pregnant? <laughs> of course not. I'm not Sky, you know. You've got two kids already. No way. What did you say? Alex, she was never for you, okay? Let's forget about her, all right? She's in the past. Your present is with me. Do you want to pay Ali money for her kid as well? Oh. Alex, if you loved her so much, why did you jump into bed with me, huh? What are you doing? Alex. Alex. Don't ignore me, tell me something. Alex. Hey, Alex, why do you get so upset when I mention Sky, huh? You know what? This is not my apartment, so pack your things and get out of here immediately. So you lied to me about the apartment? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're here. Want to come in? Ah, it's kind of late. Um, okay, thanks for driving me. You're welcome. Sky, wait. I've been waiting for the right moment to give you this. It's yours. Look. Thank you. 
I can't believe I forgot about well, it. Well, I'm glad we're talking again. And that I get to see you often. If I had been a little braver, I should have done something. And if I could turn back time, things would be very different. I would immediately steal you away from Alex, and I would leave Larissa in a heartbeat. I would take you far, far away. Actually, I like you since the day I helped you carry those apples. <laughs> yeah. Why are you telling me all of this now? You have a wife and a child. Even if I felt the same way as you, we can't be together. We have different lives now. What's wrong? Mom. Honey, what's wrong? Did he hurt you? No. That's wrong. He always liked me. Mom. 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 He always liked me. Can you take me east, please? No problem, let's go. Excuse me, sir, I need you to drive a lot faster, okay? Okay, I'll go faster. is in a very bad shape. Hurry up! He's waking up. He'll be transferred to a bed now. He's fine. Everything's all right. Hey, Dimitri. Yeah? Thank you for saving my brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you's never enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. We were operating for five hours. Well, yeah, five hours. Yeah. I'll stop by to see him at the emergency unit tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I'll run a few studies, too. He was lucky. But he needs to be careful still. Let's see how the recovery goes, but he's still a young man. I think he'll be fine. When will he be transferred to our unit? Well, when he's a little better, he'll definitely stay here for three more days. We did our best. Now it's up to him. I don't understand. Why the hell was he going there? I hated him so much. <sighs> he's waking up. Alex! Alex, can you hear me? Hello, brother. It's okay, you'll get back on your feet. Wait. Yeah.
Hello, Mom. Hi. Alex just woke up. You should come. Mom. Yes, yes. Come see him. Hurry. I was scared. Alex, you have no idea how scared I was, my dear. I had no idea what to do. Roman took everything into his own hands, otherwise I would have gone crazy. Alex, you, you have to leave, you understand? You don't only have Lisa, you also have a son, he's wonderful. Look, he's the most beautiful boy. His eyes, I can tell he's very smart. He's kind and he smiles at everyone, a copy of you. I'm sorry, son. I shouldn't... I should stop talking. You... You must be tired of hearing me talk, right? You want to sleep? Leave it. What? Just leave it. Just thinking about you. Here, I brought you your medicine. How are you feeling today? I'm fine. I want to talk to you. How is he? Who? Our son. Listen, I get it, okay? I acted like an idiot. I understand now that I was a fool for believing all those stupid lies I heard about you. I know now that you were honest, Sky. Please let me be a part of my son's life. Just tell me how can I help. No. We don't need anything from you. Sky, please. Come to the city with me, we'll live together. No, Alex. I don't love you anymore. But he's your son, of course you can see him. Whenever you want. Sky. 
W wait, are you going home? I can keep your ride. <laughs> wait, I'm sorry. Uh, wait, um, yeah. Roman. Yeah? Come home now, your daughter is sick. <sighs> Crap. Oh, by the way, get milk and diapers on the way. Okay, I will. I'm on my way now. Okay, hurry up. Sky, I'm very sorry. Change of plans. My baby's sick. It's okay. Go see her. I can walk home anyway. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Darling, hello. Hello. Come on, dear. Show Dad your gift, sweetie. Oh, what is this? Is it a clown? You made it yourself, sweetie? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Lisa cried all night when she knew you were in the hospital. She was worried. Mom, you are crying too. No. When will you be discharged? Well, they'll promise it'll be next week. That's good. Let's hope it's soon. Lisa has missed her grandmother very much, and you too. Of course she misses me. We hadn't seen each other in a year. Dad, Grandma told me that I have a younger brother. Is that true? Hmm? She told you, huh? What a great grandmother you have. Yes, it's true. Look, Lisa, that has a wooden leg, see? God, what do you need this for? <laughs> well, Lisa, when someone gets a fracture, they must put a cast in him so the bones can grow faster. The bones grow quickly, very quickly. Alex, this is Sky's baby, right? Is this the baby that we met on the train, Dad? Who is this baby? Yes, Lisa, yes. That's your brother, dear. It's Nikki. He's so cute, Daddy. Mom, when can I go play with him? Well, whenever you want, sweetie. Anytime. <laughs> That's great! I will show him my dolls and my drawings. Yes, dear. Where have you been? I've been waiting all night. Why are you ignoring my questions? Do you have anything to say to me now? You don't need to answer me because I know everything. Tanya told me about you and Sky, okay? We're not important to you. You're so in love with her. Next time you see her, you should tell her to celebrate. She destroyed her family. She ruined everything. What family? This is not a family. There's no love. We got married because of the baby. It shouldn't have happened. You have never loved me, have you? 
You have always loved her. Yes. I love her. And I'm with you for the baby. I hate you, Roman. <sighs> well, the baby's not yours. You don't need to worry about us. We are ready, darling. Let's go for a walk now. The sun is shining. It's warm, okay? Yes, let's go. Let's go with you. <laughs> Come on. Let's go, dear. Just a second, dear. Hello? Hello. Come in, please. Thank you. This is for you. Who's this beautiful baby? Lisa, he's cute, right? <laughs> we were going for a walk. Do you want to come? Or would you prefer some tea? Oh. I can go make some. Sky, I wanted to see if Lisa could stay with you for a while. I want to go see Alex at the hospital and Lisa said she wanted to play with her brother. Would that be okay? Be honest. Of course. I think we will have so much fun together. You're in charge of the stroller. Really? That would be awesome! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes? <laughs> okay then. I guess you'll be in your best behavior, sweetie, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Hi, dear. Why are you so serious today, huh? Why are you so serious? You were crazy about her. I knew everything. I was angry. I wanted to do something. I wanted to get back to you. So you've been lying to me. All this time. I wanted to tell you, really, but... I was too afraid of losing you. And every day became harder and harder to lie. My daughter is growing, changing. Sooner or later you would have noticed that she doesn't look anything like you. Roman, please forgive me. Really, I'm so sorry. I'll do anything to fix it, but don't leave. <laughs> Tell me, why did you stop talking to Dad? Did you find someone else? Yes. Are you going to marry him? No. But why not? Why not? Because life happened. We can't be together anymore. Don't worry, Sky. In every fairy tale, the prince marries a princess. Hello. Hello. Hello, Son, Mom. Hello. Where are you going? To see Alex. Wait a bit. He's with someone, okay, darling? With someone? She's there. They got back together, I think. Oh, I see. And now what? I don't know for sure, 
but I think they are planning to return to the city very soon and live together. Isn't that great? They'll need all the support from their loved ones now. She still loves him, you know? And they have a child. They should be together. Oh, Roman, I hope everything turns out okay. Yes, Mom. Okay, I'll go. Bye. Yes. Bye, son. See you soon. Sky, please, don't leave with him. I still love you. I love you too, Roman. I'm divorcing. You hear me? I'm divorcing. No. Roman, I would never destroy a family. <laughs> there is no family. It's over. Larissa admitted she cheated on me. She has been lying to me. Now I'm free and we can be together. Please don't leave with him, Sky. I beg you, don't leave. But I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, then, wait, wait, who is leaving with Alex? Yes, Lisa. Take your dad's hands, please. <sighs> Hello. 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 Thanks for everything, bro. If it weren't for you. Of course. Take care, bro. I'm with them. They'll take care of me. I'll be totally fine. Huh. I hope you can forgive me someday too. I forgave you. Long ago. Kiss my son for me. Well, <laughs> we've gotta go, okay? Fine. Take care. Let's go. I got this. Come visit us on holidays. I will definitely. <laughs> Get in, dear. <laughs> Goodbye. I'd like to finish up by summing up the results of the academic year by inviting the best first-year student based on the test results. She is one of the best, Sky Lapshina. Sky, say something. I want to congratulate all of you on the holiday of our wonderful and respectful institute. You know, when I worked as a nurse at the hospital, I met the most amazing person there. And it was thanks to him that I truly fell in love with medicine. He's the one who inspired me to center my studies in cardiosurgery. And this special person is here in this room with us. It's the amazing Professor Peter Slipenka. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very happy for you, Sky. 
Thank you. Peter, come up. Please, please. Come on, say some words. Congratulations, dear. Best student award. Thank you. Let's go. They're waiting for us. Let's go. <laughs> well, family, I'd like to make a toast. <laughs> <laughs> family, listen, I want to propose a toast. Roman finally finished his thesis. Oh, Roman, almost three years, right? Well, yes. And I'd like to say that those three years were not for nothing. I want us to drink to the young candidate, the best one of medical sciences. <laughs> Hooray! 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 Well, I'm sure you'll keep on studying after this, right? <laughs> Thanks, but not at all. We have other plans. Sky and I have some good news. Just don't faint. We'll have a baby. Kiss her! Uh, that is... That's wonderful news. <laughs> Congrats. Sky, congratulations. Kiss! 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 Kiss!